to flash the getter, um, the getter is right in this position right here, so it'll show up, I'm pretty sure, when I flash it. I have the getter flashing machine here, and we just hold the coil over the tube and then hit the switch, and it will flash the getter. Okay, the ring is getting red hot. have the getter flashed on that side of the tube there. Okay, the next thing to do, we're going to go ahead and seal the tube off. This is the most critical part of it. If we overheat the glass, the vacuum will, uh, the, 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 the glass will pop through and air will leak into it and it's over. The whole tube is ruined. Alright, here goes. Cool the torch off a little bit just to get it started until we start getting it to flare. We don't have much chance of it cracking using small Pyrex, but we don't want to take any chances. I'm just going to get good and warmed up. I've lost probably 10 to 12 tubes at this stage in the five years that I've been making tubes. Glass is starting to squish in. Be very careful here. Now I'm going to twist it. Got the glass soft. By twisting it, that seals it off. Success. That's it. All right, for the woodwork, um, just looking at the ratios here of the size of the tube to the size of the base, um, and doing a little work with the uh, dividers, I've come up with a, a size of um, four inches by five inches for the base, and then the height will be about a half inch taller than the tube itself. So we'll get busy and make up the wood pieces.
And that's our rough base. That's the hole for the tube wires to go through. Number eight, all thread for the uh, terminal. gives us the studs for the terminals. This will fit on there like that. Now make the terminals. For underneath the tube, we're going to use a piece of thick felt. This is just felt. It's squishy so that it will hold the tube in place and yet not put a lot of force on it. You don't want to crack the tube. drill a hole through it. Okay, we need um, our wires will come for the filaments. We have to we have to get uh, to the terminal, so I'm just going to make channels in the wood with the Dremel tool. Okay, that way it'll be flat on the bottom. Next we're going to stain it, make it pretty. Okay, the stain we're going to use is a mixture. It's one half brown leather stain and one half Minwax uh, dark walnut. This makes a very dark stain that is very close to what they had back in the, in the uh, teens and, and early uh, part of the century. It's extremely dark. Uh, they made it out of like uh, tannin, wood tannin, and that's not really available anymore, but this works very well. Makes a very dark color on the wood, looks just gorgeous and very period. Just take a rag and it's just a little piece of felt. Okay, now that is made out of a little different type of wood than the rest of it, so it turned out a little lighter, but that isn't any problem. Once it's dry, I'll show you how we darken it up. Now, we have these, this piece that was a little bit lighter color, and we use this a uh, spray uh, dark walnut 
um, lacquer. It has dark walnut mixed with lacquer. And I'm just going to use that to go ahead and uh, darken this up a little bit. Make it match the rest of it. See, that just brings the color down. That'll match the rest of it. Let it harden. For the piece that we already have done, I'm going to go ahead and spray it with just clear lacquer. This is just clear lacquer. I'm just going to put a coat of it on there to uh, shine it up a little. We just let that dry. Okay, we have our, our frame now complete. What we're going to do is now assemble the tube. Now we need a piece of wire to go from this terminal down and connect to the, to the side electrode. I'm just going to take a little piece of uh, fine wire, copper wire. Now I've drilled a hole right alongside the threads going right down through the bar to run the wire through. So I'm just going to stick that and we have our, our connection. I'm just going to wrap the top of it here around the stud and then put the retainer on it. Okay, that mounts our tube in there. Now I need two screws to go through for the Terminals will go onto here. And there we have our Fleming diode valve reproduction. Let's hook it up and see if it works. Okay, we have our tube hooked up to the uh, tester. Okay, we're going to go ahead and let's put some uh, voltage on the filament there. It's about two volts. Here's our plate current and our plate voltage. I'm going to run the current plate voltage up a little. There we got it. Okay, that's at about 10 volts. We get 1 milliamp. 22 volts. Okay, so we saturate out at about 1 milliamp with this diode at 2 volts. Now, if I run the filament up, I'm going to put to two and a half. See, our current goes way up. And we're getting a good five, half a milliamp with three to four volts on the, fill, on the uh, plate. So the tube is absolutely excellent. Okay, if you like this video, please subscribe. And I have another one coming up. The next one will be making a DeForest spherical audium tube. Coming up next month.